Let's create your first mobile engine form now. Mobile forms are the user interface to the mobile workflow solution you create. You send a mobile form to your user's mobile device because you want to display data to them and or collect input from them and the services that run on their devices. The forms themselves do not process the data that the user submits with them. A working mobile form requires the following steps from you. Create a form in the mobile form language. Publish it using the Mobile Engine Build tool. And synchronize the published form with the Mobile Engine client application. Create a folder to save the source code and the solution artifacts, such as forms, reference table declaration files, workflow scripts for your solution. Name it Rocky Jupiter. It is important that you keep every solution artifact file that belongs to the same project within a single folder or in its subfolders, because the MEBT takes a folder as input and publishes everything it can identify as a solution artifact. Start the text editor of your choice. Mobile engine developers use Notepad++. Create a new file, save it in the Rocky Jupyter folder as vehicleinspection.form.xml. Use XML highlighting in the editor. Enter the following code or download it from our tutorial pages. The form element is the required node element for each and every mobile form. Element names are case sensitive. Form has a required name attribute that identifies the form to other solution artifacts. Every form must have a unique name. The value in description is the name that appears in the user interface. If you don't specify a description, the name attribute will be used. Insert the typed equals true, the date format and number format attributes on the element. You'll find out about what they do and why you need them later. The control element creates a new control inside the form. Each control has two required attributes. The type determines what kind of control it is, and the name identifies the control to workflow scripts and reports within the solution. The name of controls must be unique with their parent elements. The root panel element is the required first and only child of the form element. It contains every other control in the form. This code represents a valid empty mobile form, but you are going to use a textbox control to place an input field inside the form. Name it license plate. The label attribute is the text that appears as a caption for the control. You have created your very first mobile form. Save the file. Publish the form to the Mobile Engine Cloud to try it out on your Android device. Start the command line. Navigate to the Rocky Jupyter folder. And use the MEBT run command to publish your solution. If you use environment variables, you will only need to enter the path to the solution folder. Since you are already in the Rocky Jupyter folder, a dot is all that you need. As we've shown you in the Set Up the Developer Environment episode, you can use the NPP exec plugin to run the command with a keyboard shortcut from the text editor. This is what I'm using. After you publish, Log into the Mobile Engine app on your phone. Synchronize and you'll see Vehicle Inspection in the form list. Tap the name of the form to open it. When it opens, tap inside the text box in the top right corner of the form. Enter a license plate number and tap Send. Check that your input really did go up in the cloud. In your browser, go to the Mobile Engine Development Cloud URL 
that you received with the Mobile Engine SDK package and log into the back office site, your window to the cloud, using the username and password of your developer account. Navigate to the Incoming Data, Raw Data screen, and click on the Show button. You should be seeing the license plate number that you sent in the results table.